Hello and welcome back. Today's artist is another new one for me. I haven't heard him before, so we are going to listen to Coulter Wall sing The Devil Wears a Suit and Tie. I got something to admit I met a man I hit in the sticks A good old miss He drove a Series 10 Cadillac And wore a cigar on his lip Don't Okay <laughs> I like his voice a lot. Um, I am so glad that we have such a beautiful close-up because he has a very unique tone and I was like, my mind was racing trying to figure out how he was producing this sound. Thankfully, we can see it. So I am going to just go back to the beginning here. What he does off the bat, really beautiful, open pharyngeal sound. Um, He's not letting, you know, his larynx is in a nice neutral position, um, and he's got a lot of good oral cavity space. Um, you'll notice, and I'll try and point it out, he allows his tongue to go back just a little bit. Not so much that he's like swallowing or depressing his larynx, but enough so that it's kind of, I don't know if muffling is the right word. Um, it's not. <laughs> um, but it's creating kind of like that warmer sort of, uh, Oh, sound because the root of his tongue is sitting higher closer to like his uvula or um, to his soft palate let me we'll just go I'm sorry I should also mention the intro to this song is so cool it's I don't know if I would call it's like bluesy, but also like country. And it's just like got this like pulse to it that is so captivating. Well, Reverend, Reverend, please come quick. I got something to admit I met a man I hit in the sticks a good old You can kind of see it when he says man I got something to admit I met a man I Hopefully you can see just that tiny little extra space between his tongue and his teeth. So when I say the word man, it's all very forward. And so he's got just a little bit of a higher root, um, tongue root position. And then, ah, uh, the, yeah, the, the raspy sound that you're hearing, like that's happening in the larynx. And it's a very cool sound, but that's sort of like hollow warm, like covered. I don't even know how to describe his sound. It's so cool and it's so rich. That part of that is happening with his tongue. It's a good old miss. He drove a Series 10 Cadillac and wore a cigar on his lip. Don't you know the devil wears a suit and tie? So 
driving down the 61 in early July While as the cotton field and sharp as a knife I heard him howling as he passed me by I know you, I know you, young man Well, I know you by the state of your hands You're a six-string picker Just as I am Well, let me learn you some, I know a few turns to make all the girls dance Don't you know the devil wears a suit and tie So I'm driving down the 61 in early July Why does the- That was another good ex- I am so captivated by this, I'm really trying to like point out technique Um, it, he just- it's just so cool. It's so cool and so relaxed and so powerful. When he said July, again, normally our tongues kind of rest forward and you can see it pull, pull back. You know the devil wears a suit and tie. So I'm driving down the 61 in early July. Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a night? I heard him howling as he passed me by. So I get a great like profile of his jaw and it's so relaxed it's not pulling forward at all which I think is incredibly challenging to do when you're when you're use, utilizing your tongue in that way um, to create this sound so he's doing a really good job of separating like they often are like working together as a unit our our jaws and our tongues they they don't like to be independent one of, of one another so he's doing a really good job of keeping that nice neutral jaw and you'll also see him kind of like um i don't know squinch up his nose if that's how you want to call it but it's a great way to keep like that ping that forward brightness that good like nasal resonance involved as well which is what's creating this pit Oh my gosh, I, I almost said pig. I want to say powerful and big. <laughs> it's what's creating this big, powerful sound, um, but one that carries. And so when you have that extra ping in your sound, that is what kind of just makes it all sound that much more impressive. Foolish was I Damn my foolish eyes That man's lessons How to price the sweet price My sweet soul Everlasting very own eternal light Don't you know that the devil wears a suit and tie So I'm driving down the 61 in early July Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by Well, the devil wears a suit and tie So I'm driving down the 61 in early July Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by I love the tempo change at the end when he started that chorus really slow and sort of built. It's almost like 
kind of like that slow clap feel where you like bring in the intensity. So cool. Um, this is such an incredible example of like technique as a tool. There are certain things, yes, as like a vocal coach or a voice teacher, you you try to steer a singer away from just to prevent damage or overuse. But what he is doing right now is the most incredible utilization of tongue tension. And I've said this before, tension is not a bad thing. It can be used to create whatever sound you want. I am so, I am so curious to hear him like speak. I might have to go watch an interview after this just to hear the difference between his singing voice and his speaking voice if there is one. Um, but he just created the coolest like full sound by allowing his tongue to like the root of his tongue to sit a little bit higher. Um, yeah, uh, so, so cool. Um, <laughs> That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me. Hopefully I will see you next time.